गुड इवनिंग वेलकम नमस्कार दिस इज अ वेरी क्रिटिकल अपडेट व्हिच इज जस्ट कमिंग इन टुडे एंड दिस इज आफ्टर अ लेवन मेंबर कमिटी सैट डाउन फॉर एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्म्स बेस्ड ऑन द एनईपी रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी and this is just to get the educational system aligned with the nep which is the national education policy don't worry i will explain everything in very simple terms so that all the students and the parents will understand what has just happened or may happen now this is a very important article now you might say sir it has just come in the news so maybe may not be but you know whenever a article comes i always look at who is writing it and if you notice that article manish pratim gohen and i can show you that particular article right over here it's there on the times of india now manish is a very renowned journalist and not for any other topic but for educational purposes so whenever the news is coming from manish sir you should always take it seriously because he has contacts in the ministry all right so the resources are very credible so that's why we should pay special attention to this all right now we'll break down what that article is basically the title says je need cut in class 11th yes class 11th and reforms to cut the dependence on coaching this to always is a, a gimmick every 2 3 years one year they will keep on telling ki we should cut down coaching and i'll tell you how they are planning to do that but anyways let's see what is the exact article all about and basically this is a central panel which was tasked to reduce the students dependence on coaching which is a very welcome move and it is considered this is a very important reform including holding the exam as early as in class 11th restricting coaching timings and also exploring hybrid assessment and this was uh, uh, proposed and discussed in a meeting of 11 member committee and this is just done couple of days back to reduce the pressure on the students now what are the key proposals let's understand first conduct the exam in class 11th why in class 11th i'll tell you now the exam which is conducted of je is in january and in april what happens january students are worried about board exams and they don't know whether to prepare for the january attempt or not and if a student prepares very well for j yes they should perform well in boards but you know it is not mandatory and many students struggle not everybody can manage the time and the resources everything very well so they struggle in boards and if they prepare very well for boards then their j means january attempt goes for a toss then you will be like sir they can do very well in april attempt the problem is the gap between the april and the boards is barely one week so student really does not benefit from the two attempts so actually one of the attempts the student sacrifices or sometimes both the attempts because of the boards because the timings are very very narrow and there is hardly any window between all these exams so their proposal is if we conduct the exam in the end of 11th standard okay then the student has enough time to prepare for the board exams or you know conduct the exam not in january but let's say in the month of november itself which is a fair enough deal because if the exam happens in november then what happens you will have enough time after november say december and january to prepare for the board exams that's what the proposal says now the uh, what do you think about it please let me know in the comments or in the chats right away right now yeah ibu suresh everyone what do you think about it second thing i will discuss all the pros and cons the coaching class timing should be 2 to 3 hours per day which i completely agree and this is something which we follow even in vedantu i mean if you see our crash batches or even our pro batches they are barely two classes per day every day it is not like 6 hours 8 hours which many students uh, in specially andhra telangana right they go to which are i think a complete waste of time it takes out students freedom it takes out students creativity and makes the student a robot and there are couple of institutes which do that which is completely inhuman and has seen students go through depression and parents crying because the kids they thought of the kids to do well but 
you know what turned out to be was really bad so to end this 6 to 8 hours of coaching what will you teach there is nothing to teach for 6 to 8 hours 2 3 hours is good enough for 2 th 2 years that's more than enough and this is something which is a very good and considerate move what do you think about it next hybrid assessment meaning board marks plus aptitude test now this is a dicey part whenever the committees whether it is the ncrt team nta team or before that anybody jab anyone who has tried to do this they have failed miserably there was a time 10 years back where they considered board marks normalized it then they only considered board marks then they said board should be made to j level j level should come down so many nonsensical things happened but this is something which is like playing with fire because boards is a completely different ball game after giving boards a student need not go for engineering or medical a student can go for anything he can become a pilot he can go become a chef he can become anything so comparing a j exam or neat exam or cut with boards is ridiculous so this is something which is very very tricky guys they should not play over here yeah aptitude test should be there and uh, having a narrow minded view that all board students will go for j or neat it is not right okay and even if student is giving j neat it is definitely a different ball game the exam should be separate Another thing which they are proposing is aligning the school syllabus with the entrance exam syllabus, which I 100% agree. What is happening now? Every specifically the state board syllabus, that 11th syllabus is different from NCRT 11. The entire syllabus is also different. Some things are deleted here. Some things are not deleted here. Now imagine a student, say for example, a Tamil Nadu state board or let's say, you know, even uh, Telangana State Board student, he is writing a uh, exam, you know, board exam in the month of February, March, and also has J mains exam. How will they exactly prepare? Even Maharashtra board, the exam syllabus do not match. So few things will, but not everything. So student is always confused, and they end up taking a drop because they want to prepare peacefully. So this should be aligned. Yeah, you keep separate boards, state board, CBSB board, ICC board. But at least the syllabus should be very similar to the competitive exam. Uh, I mean, it should be aligned, you know, nationally in a particular way. Boards should be different. That is no doubt because students like state boards many times because the board is easy to score. CBSE is little difficult as compared to that. All right. Now, what are the good things from your perspective, from a student perspective? First of all, this model, if it comes, if it is, this is proposed, I don't know how it will go. If it is proposed, this will be like the SAT model, which is in USA. Yeah, in United States of America, what they do, they have, you know, multiple, multiple times exams and not just towards the end. So something like maybe once in November, once in April. So that is a good time gap. And students who uh, want to prepare early only and don't want to take the tension, they will give the exam in November. Then they will prepare for boards. If they feel like giving it once more, they will give it in April. So that is one model which is suggested. Reducing board, board clash because the board exams, J mains exam will not happen in 2-3 months because Jan, Feb, March, April, that's it. In these few months, all exams, three, two attempts and board exam is happening with practicals also. Just imagine the stress. Now it will be distributed. The so students can peacefully prepare for each exam dedicatedly. That is one good thing. Also a healthier lifestyle because you know, you do not have long coaching hours. So your mental peace is there. I mean, there is nothing to teach because it feels like a jail when a student is sitting for six to eight hours in one single coaching every day and uh, mobiles are not allowed. This is not allowed. Talking is not allowed. That is not allowed. So that is not right. A student should always interact, be social, play games, you know, have a very healthy and balanced lifestyle. And yes, even after that, you can study only then your creativity will boom. What is the negative? The problem is the moment the exam happens early, let's say even it in November or let's say even by the end of 11th standard, say towards uh, May or June or something like that when 11th standard has completely done. Then what will happen? The students will start preparing in 10th standard. Then the 10th board pressure along with the J need preparation will happen. That is very natural if it happens. 
then they should rationalize the syllabus that okay whatever syllabus will be taught in 11th till the end and maybe a small part of 12th only that much will come in the competitive exam or they need to realign the time frame so that all the exams do not clash that is a big drawback many coachings will start teaching at 9th standard only i will teach you for j even we don't do that we teach foundation which is for 9th 10th that is for olympiad level that is different but teaching for j neat starting at 7th standard or 8th standard many coachings will start doing that which nobody should support at all right and the rat race will become early another big problem you would have also realized especially if there is a 2026 or a 12th or a dropper student that your maturity comes after 11th like you will understand what that objective exam is what kind of exam temperament exam pressure all these things build up slowly so by the time you develop this the exam would have already come so you know it is a little early because you are barely turning from 16 to 17 usually that maturity kicks in at 17 uh, years of age sometimes even close to 18 years so that is why that problem might be there and yes yeah, syllabus rush might happen but if the syllabus is rationalized and it is clear that exam syllabus will be this much only whatever has been taught in 11th till the month of april or june then it is fine but other than that if they chuma say no no we'll take two year syllabus and the exam will happen in april only then it will be a big problem april as in the previous academic years april for parents this is actually a little bit good thing because it's a financial relief if the school syllabus and you know coaching syllabuses are matching and hours are capped and everything is happening early you are saving on money time energy so many other things also many parents are forced to send their kids into a dummy school where attendance is not mandatory so you know that culture will end see dummy school i understand why we are going or why many kids opt for it and it is not right also because at that age you should actually be you know not just studying but also interacting just sitting at home studying 24 hours is not what is needed so that dummy school culture will definitely end and pressure will not be there and of course parents also want the safety the mental peace of the kids you can see so many negative articles also are there because of so much pressure so many hours of coaching because of boards with uh, j boards with need many students you know uh, are very pressurized they feel depressed and all of that so that will be a big relief for the students as well as the parents so these are some positives and negatives now i want to know from you what do you think about this and let me know in the comments below or in the chats below right over here yeah now will this be applicable for j 2027 no j 2027 that boat has already sailed you are already closing in what 12 standard but for j 2028 this might happen but before it anything happens they need to inform it at least one year in advance so max to max what i feel is maybe the january attempt might be shifted to not december maybe november a little bit early that is quite possible for j 2028 not so much for 2027 the probability is less but we don't know surprises can always happen and if they prepone it then we will have to be on alert and we have to complete the syllabus much ahead for 2027 but that is very very unlikely okay so this is mainly for the 9th 10th students who are going to be in 11th very soon all right thank you so much let me know your suggestions and debate it all in the comments thank you for liking and share it with your friends this is the captain's share signing off